This is the uh, Sunlink 12 watt folding solar power panel. About 150, 160, depending on where you get it. Uh, comes in a little pouch like this that you unfold. Comes with a, a variety of, of uh, connectors. And I'm going to demonstrate a few little things uh, to run a few items here that I've uh, doing some testing with this. Uh, power panel. So and of course the 12 watt has the uh, two fold like that, well I mean the two uh, rows of uh, solar panels. Uh, voltage wise we've got about 14.87 and I hooked up one of the connectors with the alligator clips that you can connect directly to a battery charge it. In this case I'm doing it so I can clip my meter. Of course the sun's coming out a little brighter right now so we're going about 14.9. Um, I'm going to check the short circuit amperage in a few seconds. I'm waiting for the sun to come out at its peak. Uh, we have a little bit of an overcast uh, it's coming popping in and out. Uh, but I'm going to demonstrate that in a few seconds. So you got about close to 15. There we go. Sun's out. Clouds went away. Alright, so we've got about a 15 volt. I got a short circuit uh, test, about 7, 8, there you go. <clears throat> 880, oh, got 900 milliamps. We're well, getting close to an amp there. So it's right at 800 milliamps. And again, this is uh, really not the peak time of the day as well, but. Um, we got 890, we saw about 900 uh, milliamps, almost an amp coming out of this uh, device. So there's a short circuit um, current test. And so it uh, performs about what it says plus, so um, the specs. Okay, right now I'm running this little 12 volt fan, uh, pulling about uh, about 58 milliamps. I got it hooked up uh, the amp meter. So right now we're low fans drawing about 590 milliamps. Again, this produces as you saw 800 plus. So it <clears throat> runs this little DC 12 volt fan perfectly. I'll show you how I used it in a park that I went to yesterday. Also, I have this little 12 volt fluorescent lights pulling about 370 milliamps of course it's kind of hard to see but um, the um, fan draws about 500 the little light draws about 300 now I've got this little 12 volt 8 amp hour battery about 17 to 20 bucks then where you get it um, charging it up with this uh, solar panel and again, uh, you can probably do the math here. Uh, 8 amp hour battery. This puts out about 800 milliamps. So uh, just do some little divisions there. And again, right now it's drawing this battery. I've already topped it off, uh, charged it. So uh, I'm basically this, these work real well for uh, charging a battery during the day. And you need some supply at night to run some of these devices, such as the lamp and other items. Of course you can always charge uh, bigger batteries, take longer, more amp hours. Satisfied with this this flexible solar panel, does what it says. Uh, I have no regrets. Uh, I definitely in a windy area if you're going to put this on something, remember the wind will flap this thing around, use some uh, rope, tie this down, bungee cords, whatever. I've used it on a beach on an umbrella and the minute the wind blew of course it flew. So. Uh, I think about these. Works real well. I'm pleased with it. The uh, Sunlink, uh, this one here is the 12 watt solar panel, flexible. And as you can see, it's a just folds right back up. Um, nothing to it. Very convenient. Stick in a backpack. It's got a little Velcro. strip right there to keep it secure and there you have it. Carry it with you wherever you go. It's very light and uh, 
I'm happy with this. I plan to use it quite a bit for camping and such matters. This is the uh, Sunlink, the 12 watt, 12 watt solar panel. I'm here at a park. I got it here. I've got one of the. Uh, this is the extension cable with the uh, this connector here, and this is a little 12 volt fan got from Walmart. And I got me a little fan going there. I also have my solar powered KA007 radio. Right now it's running strictly off the solar panels on the back. As you can see, I'm blocking the sun. So I'm in a park, barbecuing on a beautiful day, utilizing the sun's power, the power of fan and the radio. Alright, I've got my little setup here on the beach and I got a fan because there's no breeze, so I put my solar flexible solar panel on top of my umbrella and of course feeding directly into the fan give me some air there because there's just no breeze whatsoever here on this lake of course I've got my solar powered radio as well